I'm Rick Clapp, your host with Bay Area Houston Magazine. You're now watching GoBaja.com and our most favorite show in the Bay Area, The Breeze. Well, today I've got some really great people here today with the Senecor Corporation. And uh, we have the director, the actually uh, community resource manager, Ronnie Archer. Good morning, good Ronnie. Morning. How are you? It's good to see good you. Friend. And I see you brought a friend as well. I did. This is Deanna Travis. And Deanna is our Career Services Manager. This is a new program that Senecor is doing that it meshes the recovery that we're famous for and offers workforce development so that our residents are more successful once they graduate from the program. So right, you guys work together, right, That's on the projects and, right. and working at Senecor. I know Deanna, of course, being involved locally in the Seabird community, she's yes. mm -hmm. pretty visible and out there and about. Well, first of all, tell us about Senecor. What does Senecor stand for? Okay. Senecor's name actually came from being a central part of a person's recovery. We deal with chronic addiction. Our residents have typically tried a number of ways to recover themselves. They've done that through their faith, um, praying, going to 30-day programs, family psychotherapy, intervention, psychotherapy, yeah. yes, tried a variety of measures. And Cinecor is more designed to get to the central part of the person, the core of the okay. issue. And that's where Cinecor comes from. From getting to the center, to the core of the person Correct. and the problem. Correct. Well, great. Yeah, I know. Correct. You've had great success. You've yes. been here for how many years? I know downtown you were here for. Yes, Cinecor was founded in 1967. Right. Mayor Louis Welch invited Cinecor to the Houston area in 1971. Mayor Welch had heard of the success Cinecor wow. was having in Colorado. Mayor Louis. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Goes back yes. A long time now. yes. We were in the uh, Penn Hotel. That was the building okay. until 1994. Beautiful downtown. You can see Cinecor across the, le the uh, skyscraper. But you you know, it proved problematic for us because we are a voluntary program, oh, I see. so they can leave if they want to leave, and it's much easier to leave downtown, and get into trouble right? downtown <laughs> than it is in Deer Park, Texas. Well, good point. Yeah, good point. yeah. Well, now that you're in Deer Park, right, so it's a great place not only to uh, work, but to live, right? The residents live there, right? That is correct. They live with us for two years. We are and it's their choice, right? They have to make that We commitment. are a voluntary admission. Oh, I see. Good. Well, uh, Santa Corina has a very good name. Yes. You guys have done a great job over there. What is the recivity rate? How, how successful are you normally with your, your people? When I share those statistics, I try to offer kind of a good news, bad news picture. The good news is Cinecor is one of the most successful in the nation. The not so good news is that only 15% of our residents that start treatment will complete treatment. Okay. But with that, there's even better news. The longer they stay, it actually reduces the recidivism rate. We are seeing just great results, people that stay 90 days, 9 months, 1 year, but our goal is to see them complete the 2 years treatment. Right, I think, and what I know, because I have worked with Senecor in the past, uh, the program is very structured, yes. highly professional. Yes. Uh, the, uh, what would you call them, the mentors, uh, they come out with the folks that are residents and they work with them closely. A lot of them have had addiction problems themselves, right? Correct. Correct. So you have both, right, at the facility. Yes. People like yourself that did not have any addictions, you right. know, Deanna, but you're professionals in your field and you work closely with people that have were maybe professionals in their life but had addiction problems, so it's half and half, right? You work together with them. That is correct. Our management staff is divided. We have 50% that actually faced addiction and went through Cinecor in a treatment mode. And then we have 50% like Deanna and myself that come from the professional community. So tell us about your plans. What are the future plans of Cinecor? Cinecor hopes to expand its services. Um, we actually took over a unit in Lake Charles, Louisiana oh. called the Briscoe Unit. Yes, I'm familiar with that. So now we have uh, residential treatment facilities in Fort Worth, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Deer Park. Oh, wow. We've been there. That, that is considered our Houston-based facility in Deer Park. We recently took on the Briscoe Unit, and I will be honest with you, there are constant talks about other nonprofit recovery treatment centers that have found themselves in trouble 
that Senecor gets calls often. Like the Port of Houston, the Senecor is a major part of our community. And I know the Port of Houston has called on quite a bit for their expertise and knowledge because their success rate, Correct. just like yourselves, you know, right? Other organizations yes. need your else and expertise, but there's only so much you can do, right? Right. And we are considered just really a staple right. in the Houston area. And we do free public speakings, even to the larger corporations that are dealing with addiction among their employees. In times like this, Ronnie and Dana, how do you guys get your funding? We have about 60% of our revenue that is generated through our vocational services program. This is where our residents go out and work for treatment. I see. So a business partner would have a partnership with Cinecor, and when our residents are in primary treatment, which is the longest phase, it's about 18 to 24 months of their treatment, they would work at one of our business partners, and the business partner, the company themselves, would pay the money to Cinecor. That is the contractual agreement. And then did you pay them a certain percentage, the people that are working, or no. they work for free? They actually... Within the, well, they don't work for free, but they get lodging and yes, all that. Yes, that's true. Um, when you admit into Cinecor, remember it is a voluntary right. admission, you pay a one-time admissions fee. In the state the of commitment, Texas... commitment, right? To yes. make that commitment. Yes. In the state of Texas, that's only $350. Not bad. We get residents from all across the nation. We even get residents from Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. So how much Islands. do they pay out of state 15, tuition? 1500 So they have to make it Yes. Sixty percent of our revenue is generated through vocational services, but we have that remaining 40 that we depend on the community. I see, right. So we that's going to come through contributions, yes. Well, let me tell you, any of you out there that want to contribute to a great organization, not because the ladies from Seneca are here today, but I firsthand had a chance to experience uh, the vocational side with people working with us, top-notch people, yes. um, very well trained, organized, and uh, make your checks out to uh, Senecor. Where are y'all located? Deer Park, right? What's your yes. address? We are located at 4525 Glenwood Avenue, that is in Deer Park, or you can call 281-476-0089. Not only for donations, but if you know anyone that needs treatment. I'm glad that uh, there are people out there giving people second chances. God bless them. And we appreciate you ladies coming thank today. You. Thank you, Ray. Thank, thank, thank you. So always much. a pleasure. I know we'll be working for us with you. Indiana. Always a pleasure always to see you. Always a pleasure. Well, thank you for watching The Breeze. And uh, until next time, read Bay Area Houston Magazine. We'll be coming out right at the first of the month. And uh, it's a great issue. So. Tune in to the breeze. Go Baja.com. Thank you very much.